Now, k 3 3s Aaron Heff joins us live now from El Dorado County with what conditions look like this morning as the Caldor fire continues to burn. Aaron, good morning. Good morning, Leticia. People yesterday when we were doing live hits at the assistance center for the Caldor fire, person after person kept coming up to us at the live truck saying they live in Sly Park. What does Sly Park look like? They have no idea because neighboring Grizzly Flats did burn down. The majority of it did. We're in Sly Park right now and we're in a cul-de-sac that was obviously hit by firefighters both on the ground and air. You're seeing fire retardant on all of these homes. Check out this air quality. Look at the sun. You can barely see it through the trees. It looks like fog. It looks like smog. It is not. The AQI is above the 500 mark, which means it is above the hazardous condition mark. Really, if you're not wearing one of these, it feels really thick. If, if, if that makes any sense, it feels heavy in the body. Check out this valley. This down here is still smoldering. You can hear it crackling and whoop, if we make it down safely, obviously, but you're seeing hose on the ground. You're seeing fire retardant this house. See, we're trying to be very delicate with the homes that we're showing. We're not seeing any damage thus far, but when we were talking to people, the residents of Sly Park yesterday, when we were at the assistance center, they were saying they were really split. People wanted to know what it looked like. Did their home make it? And then some people didn't want to find out on live TV if they're home made it. They want to find out for themselves. So we're really just going to be taking a live look at different streets and different vantage points throughout the morning for each hit. But down into this valley, you can see the fire retardant. You can see the hose and there is crackling down there. Obviously a really great firefight from Cal Fire, from US Service, uh, uh, US Forestry Services, making sure that this cul-de-sac made it. We'll check out other live locations throughout the morning in Sly Park for right now, though, reporting in Sly Park, Aaron Heft, KCRA 3 News.